today. So we knew the NES, the SNES Classic was coming, but uh, not today, yesterday. Uh, we actually got um, a price, uh, a release time frame. Sure. I, I think. got distracted by the headlines on the games list. So Yeah, I can't remember. <laughs> we got a games list and some stuff about the hardware. Um, so let's hit the easy ones first. Um, it's going to cost $80. Um, but part of that is that you're getting two controllers instead mm-hmm. of one, which was a mistake they made with the NES Classic, and I'm glad they fixed it. Um, I think, excuse me, I think the controller cord is supposed to be a little bit longer, but it's still not as long <laughs> as the original. I don't understand that. Like, just the mind games, man. Just just make Ugh. it the length. Like, I don't, why? Just go all the way. Don't go so, far away. Somebody, when somebody compared it to, it's like, but still not as long as the original, which is probably still too short considering how people's living rooms are these days. But Right. Like, I don't know. I, obviously, <laughs> obviously, Nintendo is like they have a very specific like vision of how people engage with this hardware, and it is like little kids sitting in front of some TV, like like back in the eighties, and it's like no, yeah. I sit on my couch, which is like across the room from my TV. Like this doesn't make any sense. Whatever. Um, Do they okay, just so want us bucks, to buy a super long HDMI cable? Is that what they picture? Like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they think the answer is, but um, they are going to release a Europe specific version that is going to have the same colors as the SENS had when it was released in Europe way back in the day. Um, it's like the red, yellow, blue, and green, or something like that. It mm-hmm. Looks looks really cool. Um, and then they released the games list, and uh, my favorite game of, like, like definitely one of my top three games of all time is going to be on there, which is super cool. Um, which is what <laughs> Super Metroid? Okay, all right. I love yep. that game. Yep, to death. Um, it's a yearly play. I I just I mean like we've talked about many times. Like I think both of you and I have said like that's our favorite console. Like. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's it's the one that like really I established like my gaming roots in. Um but like they they nailed it. Like every single game that's coming on this thing is like a game that like even if I didn't play it back then, I've always wanted to play it or I played it a ton. Um and they're including a game that never got released. That's cool. Star Fox 2 is going to be on there, which weirdly enough, you have to beat the first level of Star Fox before you can unlock it, which I don't really (laughs) understand why that was a condition, but it is. Um, But yeah, man, this thing sounds, it sounds awesome. And at the same time, I feel depressed because I'm not going to be able to get one. I really want (laughs) to get one. Like, I think it would be so awesome (laughs) for my girls to play these games that I absolutely loved Um, and I love the simplicity of it because like I've done the like retro pie thing and like no matter how much work you put into it, it's always going to have some like quirks and like, Mm -hmm. there's always going to be those times you have to dump back out into like a shell and like, it's just, it's more work than I really want to do, especially for my kids to play a game. So like, this would be awesome. Um, but yeah, I don't, I just feel like I'm not going to be able to get my hands on one because of what happened with the NES classic. So (laughs) I, love, I think that was everybody's reaction around us was, uh, yeah, they nailed the games list. Um, like just looking at looking at the titles, there wasn't anything that I felt was out of place. I'm sure if we dug in further, I'd come up with another ten that should be on there. Yeah, uh, but it, they they hit all the home runs. I was really I was really surprised to see Earthbound on there, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, one of, one of one of my other favorite games, if if not you know. I have to go back. We made, we made those top ten lists a while back. Forgot to bring those yeah. bring those back up. Yeah, um, I sprung that on you. <laughs> but like with uh, with Earthbound, like being so hard to find for so many years, and then released on a virtual console for Wii U, and now hey, here's another forum to play it. That's that that's kind of a, a, an interesting uh, end of that story. Um, but yeah, just this assumption of like, well, this is you know, here we go. This this, this is great, but none of us are going to be able to get one. Like it's just. And I, I don't know. I'm left with like a, well, you know, 
I don't want one because I never I never track down the other one. Like it's just it's gonna feel almost <laughs> that it's really dumb, but in my head it's gonna feel weird to own the SNES one and not the NES one. It's like I can't complete my collection, so I'm not gonna start mm. in the middle. <laughs> but um uh, but this is you know, this is my favorite console too. So if I guess if I was to get one and it I I don't have any other uh, flaws with it, so it's kind of kind of awesome. I'm just gonna I'm gonna blitz through this list really quick because um, it is just really it's amazing. So Contra Three: The Alien Wars, which I have never actually played. I realize that's second best Contra. I need to play that one. Uh, Donkey Kong Country, which mm-hmm. is awesome. Earthbound. Mm-hmm. They're calling it Final Fantasy Three, which <laughs> is kind of funny because <laughs> that's not what it was when it was released here. No, 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 uh, no! It totally was. When oh it was no, that's on, right. It was, but it wasn't in Japan. Right, but on the Super Nintendo in the United States. Yes, but it on was the Super Final Famicom, Fantasy Three. Yeah, it was Final Fantasy Four, um, but here in the states it was Final Fantasy Three. So they're going back to that, even though no, they have started. Con- no, Japan, it's Final Fantasy Six. Oh, it's six. That's yeah. right. Yeah, I kept seeing my eyes and V's and got. Yeah, it's like, I thought it was way later. Yeah. Um, but it's weird because. Lately, when they've been re-releasing these yeah, games, they, would, they have been calling it Final Fantasy VI, and now all of a sudden they're like, "No, we're 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 sticking true to this classic <laughs> thing." Uh, so that's funny. Uh, F Zero, man, what an yep. amazing game that Nintendo. I don't know why they haven't resurrected that franchise, but it's since just, the GameCube, I guess that was the last one. I hadn't so thought good. about that in a bit. Uh, Kirby Superstar, which is good. <laughs> Kirby's Dream Course, which is better. <laughs> um, the Legend of Zelda a Link to the Past. That's all right. Uh, <laughs> man, yeah. It was a mediocre Zelda game. Uh, Mega Man X, mediocre Mega Man game. Just kidding. I love that game. Well, I always I always get curious when they get the third party games, like how they have to select those. So that was, mm-hmm. that's, like, you, you never know, like, if someone's going to be weird about it, but they got the right one. So, yeah, that one's so good. Secret of Mana, man, yeah. that game is just, that's got a special place in my heart. Star Fox and Star Fox 2, uh, Street Fighter 2 Turbo Hyper Fighting. Yep. Man, what Got a it. great game. Uh, Super Castlevania 4, mm-hmm. which is fantastic. Uh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, mm-hmm. uh, great. Super Mario Kart. It's all right. I mean, like for me, that's that's <laughs> yep. like Started up there all, is one man. of my favorite Mario Karts of all time. Uh, Super Mario RPG, which I only played much, much later in life and found that's out that is game. awesome. Yeah. Super Mario World, my favorite Mario game. Um, Super Metroid, like I said, one of my favorite games of all time. Super Punch Out, hell yeah, fantastic. And Yoshi's Island, like Mm -hmm. there's not a dud in this list. Like Mm -hmm. those are all games I would go back and play and enjoy and get well, you know, well above eighty dollars worth of enjoyment out of. Um, So yeah, it's awesome. It's a, it's so great. But man, you just know that the narrative, like already not just between our friends like i have seen so many jokes about like you know oh, uh, sold out already <laughs> yeah like like it was available for pre-order but no, we already, already canceled, they, they canceled it, it and you're not gonna get one like it's just it is a, the joke so we had a set amount of money we wanted to make and we've already accomplished it so we're done we're out <laughs> I, and like the other thing that's weird is um I, it's supposed to come out it's coming out later this year right yeah i'm sure it's a hall i'm sure it's the holiday thing again which is weird when you think about it because this is the holiday that they're supposed to be launching the switch like this is like <laughs> it's we're beta really testing <laughs> we're beta testing right now the switch uh which is going great so for all of you <laughs> holding on the fence it's great <laughs> don't worry uh they'll have every kink worked out by the time you buy one but like this is their big holiday launch and now they're gonna put this thing on top of it and it's like those, like you could get both, like I would buy both. Like if I didn't mm. have a Switch and this thing came out, I would be willing to shell out the, I don't know, whatever astronomical amount of money I'd be paying for all the Switch hardware, all the bonus hardware you have to buy to make the Switch a viable uh, console to really own. But um, it's weird that they want to put pit, pit these two against each other. But, well, I don't know. on my other, I don't even know if this is a positive or negative thing, but my thinking is, okay, Go ahead, get this out over the holidays. So next spring, you can give me all of these games on the Switch store, so I can buy them all. Like, so okay, that's well, super interesting. I and I, I want you to I want you to talk more about it. Like, 
how does this impact us getting these games on the Switch? I think it's totally... One or two things could be happening. One, they could just not be have the ports ready for the system and, and aren't investing the time in it or are figuring out other stuff with their online service and know that, you know, we can get through Zelda and Mario and then when there's a lull in our software lineup, we can debut a bunch of our retro games to get us through a quarter. Um, and at the same time, they don't want to cannibalize these little hardware products they've been doing by mm-hmm. giving us an option to buy these retro games on a the other platform. So um, because, you know, the NES classic was a limited time release, even though they forgot to tell people that that's what they were doing. <laughs> like that, that would solve a lot of this. If they had just said that at the beginning, yeah, I might've driven yes. up prices, but just like, it was just, I just assumed I'd be able to get one this summer. You would everything right. kind of calm down. And then they stole, they took it away from us and I, it was too late and I'm not going to spend $250 on eBay to get one right now. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I looked it up on Amazon and Amazon's actually selling one like it's coming from Nintendo, but it's listed at like $240. And I'm like, come on. So I just figured they had they had the after its initial success, they greenlit the SNES classic, which is, you know, however they were producing the NES classics, they just shut that factory down and or change change their assembly line of like now make go make these because yep. we've gotta we've gotta get these, we've gotta get more of these ready for the holiday. And then I bet when they uh, turn the turn the the keys off there, that's when we see a flood. Not a flood, but at least these fifty games from these two um, mm-hmm. show up on the on the Switch store in some um, some mass deal related to the online service. Uh, you know, then going more of a subscription model with it. So, because yeah. um, that would be the thing is then next spring twenty eighteen Nintendo online service is up and running. All 50 of these games are on that service for, you know, whatever paying a year. And, you know, they've already made their money off the little hardware stuff. And also, we've got a ton of games we can play. And hopefully, these are the easiest ports for that. But Do you think they uh, you think they do a 64 Classic? Classic 64? I don't know what you call it. I don't know. I don't know. Um... 64 is a little bit weirder. Like, I know, just, like, from just messing con- around with emulators and ROMs and, and stuff. And, like, yeah, yeah, it's it's a little bit more involved. Um, I think you could totally do it, though. Can you do it and, like... I don't know. Okay, so, so Rare is all hooked up with Microsoft right now, right? Yeah, but Nintendo owns all those games. Okay, so... Because I was going to say, like, I feel Dark like there's no the- way you can put out a classic 64 and not put Goldeneye on it. That's an, that, So that would become an EA licensing issue. Oh, that's even worse. Because it's, it's who's it's who has the Bond license, which... Oh. Uh-huh. So that's why you haven't really seen that in a, in a true re-release on... Yeah, like yeah. in any virtual console type thing. Because you wouldn't get Perf- Perfect Dark. Like that was since Microsoft bought that. Okay. Well, I don't know. You're right because Banjo because Banjo Kazooie yeah. went with Rare, okay. So, but you know, but uh, the Donkey Kong stuff obviously stays. I'm trying mm-hmm. to think of what else, what else Rare? I think I think Rare would have Battle. They have Battle Toads. I forgot how much <laughs> self. Yeah, I forgot that Rare did own a lot of their their unique properties anyway. But mm-hmm. uh, I don't think they do because then I think it creeps up to about a hundred bucks, and then, uh, like I said, and then their you know their Nintendo Online service is off and running, and I just. You know, I love the the great games on Nintendo sixty four. Mm-hmm. There aren't, but there just aren't as many. So, like, you're looking at a, you know, a lineup of like a dozen games. I think it. I think you're scraping the barrel to get twenty on there, especially just from Nintendo. It was just, it didn't have yeah. the robust library. So the others, yeah. Did. If you don't have like Rogue Squadron and like some of the uh, like, because that stuff would be a lot harder to get licenses yeah. for. Um, yeah, I think you're right. I think it's harder to put that lineup together. Or you, you know, you just do an NES Classic 2 and go find 30 more games because they're out there. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'll be curious how they revisit this stuff. It's, it's the story's not over because they're going to be making bank. And if they just, you know, they do these, I mean, maybe it could just be as simple as re releasing it with a different, like, different case. Like, you know, give us like Famicom colors in the U S or that kind of, that kind of stuff too. So isn't that weird that they don't do that though? Yeah. Like, like they but made I, it, 
they made a Famicom classic. Yeah. But that they don't, they like, they're like still holding true to like, no, the Famicom was only for Japan. That's not for you. You don't get that. And it's like, why? Like, they just, they've put charge this, me 40 bucks and I'll buy that one. Like, I feel like they I put want this all of them. A mystery around hardware manufacturing that doesn't, or mystique around it that doesn't exist anymore. Like just with the way that you know we've we see phones get mass produced. I was like, no, this isn't that complicated. You're just not willing to put very much money into it, even though, man, you're gonna get the return on it. I don't know. Yeah, it's- like like I saw the 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 European SENS Classic, and I was just like, I would totally get that one. Like I always thought those those controllers were so cool. Uh, why would you not make that available to everybody? Like, what what distribution problem does Nintendo have that like they're still operating like this is the eighties, and like you can't just ship things wherever? Like, I don't get it. Yeah. Um. But hell of a hell of a software lineup, and yep. um, it's honestly a surprise announcement. Like, you know, why yeah. You, why why don't you announce that at E three? Why don't you do? <laughs> they're just. <laughs> on their own little news cycle here, but uh, that definitely dominated uh, when it when it came out. 